Memorizing the Amino Acids This short 3-minute video will help you memorize the 20 most important amino acids in the human body. By Ricky Andreessen, Trent Taylor, and Jeremy Morgan. So first of all, we start out with the basic amino acid structure. You have an amine and a carboxylate. Side chain variation will stem from the carbon attached to the amine. We will separate the 20 amino acids into four groups. The first group is the a vigil group. You know of candlelight vigils. Well, if you think of candles and wax, you think of hydrophobicity. That's a vigil. Your first amino acid is glycine. It has no side chain. Your second amino acid is alanine. It has a simple methyl group attached to the side chain. Your next is a valine. Notice how the valine looks like a V with the two other methyl groups added onto the alanine. Fourth comes the isoleucine. The isoleucine has an isolated methyl group on the left side. The leucine, the final one, has an L in it, as you'll see now. Our second group is the aromatic group. We remember this with the sentence F. Why does this smell so bad? Smell meaning aromatic. The first is phenylalanine. Phenylalanine has a simple phenyl group attached to the methyl. Second is tyrosine. In tyrosine, we add a hydroxy group to the phenyl. Next is tryptophan. We say tryptophan like Elmer Fudd because it has a W for its initial. Tryptophan has a W located in its structure, as we can see right here. The third, final in this group is histidine. Histidine has two nitrogen groups and is a five-membered ring. The next group is Queen and Prince K. We use Queen Amine and Prince K to remember these nitrogenous amino acids. This is asparagine. Asparagine is an amide. The second is glutamine. Glutamine is just like asparagine, except it has an extra carbon. You can call it cutamine. Next is lysine. Lysine is three carbons followed by an amine. Next we have arginine. Arginine has two carbons followed by three nitrogen groups, including an imine. Finally, we have proline. Proline is great for putting kinks in proteins because it attaches to the original amino acid backbone. That finishes up our nitrogenous groups. Now we go to them tacos, which is the polar groups because polar bears love tacos. The first of the polar amino acids is aspartate. Aspartate is a lot like asparagine, but with an oxygen instead of a nitrogen. Then we go to glutamate. Glutamate is a lot like glutamine, but with an oxygen instead of a nitrogen. Next up, we have serine. In serine, the only side chain is a hydroxy group. The third in this group is threonine. Threonine is just like serine, but with an extra methyl group. Next up, we have cysteine. Cysteine looks a lot like serine, but with a sulfur instead of an oxygen. Finally, we have methionine. Methionine has an extra carbon, and then a sulfur with another carbon at the end. So now, let's review our four groups. First, a vigil, hydrophobic. FY, aromatic. Queen, Prince K, nitrogenous. And Dem Tacos, polar. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has successfully helped you memorize the amino acids.